Yeah. Uh, first off, congrats to Texas. Um, that was a heck of a basket college basketball game. And when you lose a one possession game, it hurts. Uh, losing always hurts, but when you lose like that, it it stings in a really serious way. And um, first thing I was proud of, kind of how we kept fighting all night. I didn't think. Uh, didn't think we were as engaged early defensively. We certainly had a ton of trouble with Bisu and, and Acemus in the high ball screen, and they kind of kept going to it over and over again. And thought the one guy that we found that could defend in it was uh, Jamil, and that's honestly why he was playing so much uh, when we kind of found that he could defend in it. And then, you know, he kind of finds his way on the other end scoring on the box, which was, which was good to see him come alive because we've been seeing that since the summer. I don't think it was be helpful for his confidence, um, but I was disappointed in how we defended the ball screen there. We had a couple. The turnovers are really disappointing. Uh, both both games, you know, here in league play, we've just turned it over at an incredibly high rate, and that hadn't been the team we've been. But you look down, and you know, you got multiple guys with with two, and then you got a couple guys that are starters, but three and four, and. We, we got to do a better job taking it away because they turn our t they turn turnovers into easy baskets all night and you know that's the kind that's the kind of stuff that uh, you, you you know you the reason is you lost the game. Um, I, what I don't want to hear about is free throw shooting. I, I, the thing that I'm it, I hurt every time we lose. Uh, our players hurt every time we lose, but. Uh, Nobody's going to beat himself up more than John Newman tonight, and that just that breaks my heart. It breaks my heart, uh, and it ain't fair because he shouldn't do it. Because two damn or one, one miss free throw on a one and one does not define the game. And but he's going to do that to himself, and I just hate that. And we're going to have his damn back because it ain't. It, that's that's not it. There's a thousand reasons why we had a chance. We had two chances to get stops to win a game. And we didn't get stops. That's why we lost the damn game, not because of free throws. So I, that, I break my heart for that. But some good performances tonight. I thought Seamus was special. I, I thought he was special. Uh, and he made big, big time plays down the stretch when our team needed him. And that's what big time players do. And we've known that about him for a long time. He's been battling a bunch of injuries all fall and a bunch of crazy stuff. But he was special, special. Uh, it was good to see Jamil come alive, and um, you know Victor's kind of been consistent all year. I won't kind of go down the list, but I thought Bisu was 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 a load. I thought him at the five with the pick and pop threat uh, makes them a completely different team, you know. And we didn't we thought they might do some of that, but uh, Shedrick must have got. I think he was grabbing his back in the last game, so that must be why he didn't play. But I think Bisu was just everything we could handle and. You know, we we talked about everything we could possibly do at halftime, but Millie kind of gave us the best chance. And the way Millie was guarding it was the way that we tried to get Vic and AZ to guard it a little bit, but uh, th they didn't have quite the same level of success. How much does it impact? It felt like your guards were doing a good job on Acemus and Hunter, where you don't want to change up what you're doing with those coverages, but you have to adjust because Disu gets hot. Yeah, I mean, it, it it it's not like as simple as like that, you know they asked me on the radio show, do you just put John Newman? I'm like, I mean, then who who do the other guys guard? I mean, it's it, there's a chain reaction. Certainly, we talked about it, and if you if you go to switch it, then I, you know, and Jizzle and Day Day was great on him, and Jiz Jizzle was good for the most part. He had some breakdowns. They get him out of the timeout on the back door and gets him for three. You know, getting through the screen, but uh, Day Day was great on him. And but you, you then you switch it. Well, now you got little on big, and he's going to walk you down to the box, and that's okay because maybe you could double it. But then you got big on Acemus, so it's not. I mean, I, you know, I, I know a lot of people. And this is what makes college basketball great. People watch and care, and but all that's so people ask those kind of questions. But I mean, it's not like we're idiots. Like we're sitting there talking about it. And I, again, Millie had a lot of success, and so we felt like we could get everybody to do that. And I thought Millie on him was really good, other than, you know, he, he doesn't kind of beat him to a spot there and he gets the foul and then he gets the gives up the floater over the top. But I thought he was pretty good. And I thought the shot that he made, that Disu made his last basket, the face-up shot, like we'll live with that one. And I thought I thought Millie might have even gotten a hand on it and it still went in. 
So that's that's just how it goes sometimes. See, you know, as coach talked about just how tough those one possession losses are. How much is this feeling going to motivate you, and how vindicating is it that you guys proved tonight that you can compete with some of the best teams in the conference and some of the best in the country? Um, it's very disappointing. Um, I, w I wouldn't say we were worried at all about proving anything. You know, we knew we knew how good we are, and we knew we be lo we belong. And um, but yeah, in terms of disappointment, we have a few hours to to be sad, but we, we knew what we're coming into with the Big 12, and tomorrow we got to come back ready and prepare for Baylor. Wes, can you talk about the energy that it took to play a game like this? And obviously, Big 12 games are going to be filled with energy and, and intensity, but just the energy it takes to play a game like that for 40 minutes, start to finish. Yeah, I mean, this you're playing in the best basketball league in America. It's going to take an elite effort. Um, and you can't have possessions, you take all. So effort, I don't I don't think anybody that watched the team would say our guys, you'd be disappointed in our players' effort. But the effort plus the focus and attention to detail for 40 minutes, we, we can get better there. We got a lot of work to do there. Um, but yeah, it's gonna take a lot of effort in these games. That, that's what it is. It's just it's the highest level of college basketball. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It was an incredible atmosphere in there tonight. Uh, that that that's what we all came here for, but uh, it hurts like hell when you come up a possession short. Seems like there's been a fair amount of missed layups. Obviously, there's some defense involved in that, but uh, we missed some. We missed finishing. we missed some, Scott. That I don't know how much the defense has impact on. You know, we just missed some point blank layups. Sometimes, if you miss it two three feet over the top, that 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 give the defense credit. But we we got point blank layups at the rim all night and we, we didn't convert those and you, you look down and you score 73 and I don't know how many layups we missed but it felt like it felt like a ton I've, I've said it for years I've, I've, I've never coached a player that wanted to miss a layup I never coached a kid that wanted to miss a free throw you know, I don't I don't dwell on it but we'll just get back to working at it in practice the crowd was loud are, are you disappointed that it it wasn't a sellout I, I, I didn't know but when I saw the figure I was a little surprised I thought our our fans were unbelievable tonight. I thought that was a it was a high high level environment. Simosh, you go seven to ten from the field. You really just kind of take over the usage rate, take over the offense in the final five minutes of the game in crunch time. That's um, one of the multiple times you've done that this year. Do you feel like you can confidently take that mantle and be that go-to guy in these final moments, especially in these high level atmospheres? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I mean, I don't know what else to say, um, especially when my shot's falling. I know I can make the right decision if it's creating a shot for myself or, or a teammate. But uh, again, we have a lot of guys that have that capability. So it's not like I'm sitting here saying I'm the go-to guy because we have m more than five people who can do that. So, yeah. Is there like a thought process or a mindset you enter in those moments where you're like, all right, I'm feeling it. I can feel my shot going down. Is there anything different that kind of clicks where you're able to go seven for 10 and really stay as efficient as you were? Not consciously, like it's not like I'm thinking about something specifically, but I guess in those in those moments, like sometimes maybe we're not running the play, or it's just you know you have to go get a bucket, and that's just the big bigger difference that you know you're not trying to execute a set, you're just you know playing one on one and, and trying to make a play. How many times have you practiced that ISO back down that you're able to hit? <laughs> not that much. <laughs> Did you get a good uh, look at the last shot at Max's, w whether or not he uh, dragged it, whether or not you get a good shot at the replay? Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to comment about any of that stuff. Yeah, mm, that's a good, good question. Um, you know, it's like do you do when you get – give up a basket late in a tie game or a one possession game it's a coaching strategy question do you do you get it out quick before the defense is set or do you call time out let the defense set and but get exactly what you want I, in my experience or what my opinion as a coach if I was at a coaching clinic I'd tell you there's no right answer w what's the best thing for your team and in that situation, and we work on running and getting it out quick every day. 
I mean, we work on getting it out quick and running, and we've worked on that situation in practice. And we've told the guys, if you get scored on late in a one-possession game, get it out quick, and let's see if we can get something good before the defense gets set. Um, we didn't get it out as quick as I would like, but we practiced that. We've defined that to our team. I, it, there's no – anybody could say you should do this. That's BS. It, there's no right answer. The, the answer I tell you as a coach is, have you worked on it with your team? Check. And, you know, is it consistent with your style of play? Which, check. And uh, I, 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 Listen, I didn't think we got the greatest look. I, I would have liked us. They did a nice job of stopping, stopping the break around half court. But, you know, this guy gets a clean look at the basket to win the game. I mean, I think given the scenario, we all would have taken that. Yeah, but, it, uh, you know, that's tough. That, that's tough to signal in, right? That's tough to signal in, and then y you're really worried about fouling in a shooting situation or whiffing a guy. Now, we work on fouling in other situations and giving situations, but uh, I, I think that's pretty tough. I had that timeout. If I didn't have to burn it on the out-of-bounds play, on the side out, we, we might have called timeout before the free throw and talked through that with the team. But I had to burn it to get it in, and then you don't want to burn the last one. So certainly th these are, uh, I, like you guys, I, I, I know that this is what you all do for a living. But I'll tell you all, we ain't always going to be right, but we're, uh, we think through it and we work at it. So we're, we're going to have a reason for why we do everything. We're never going to just fumble as a staff. Thanks.